Thanks to Diecast Airplane Store for giving me this special promo code. Use code ADAMIC12 for 12% off your order today. Also, when shopping at Aircraft Model Store, use the link in the description. It really helps me out. Anywho, on to the video. It's that time again, people. What's happening, everybody? Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. Today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Gemini Jets Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner mold to the NG-1. So, uh, before we start, I have a few things to say. And these things are basically, I'm not going to be comparing the liveries. Of course, the United Evo Blue always wins out. I'm not going to be comparing the liveries. And also, this is my opinion. So, please, like, don't go yelling, like, oh my god, in the comments, like, oh, I think something different. It's okay if you think something different. It's just my opinion. Uh, but, yeah. And then, now it's time for me to lay out the criteria. I have two criteria for today's comparison, and those criteria are the boxes, and by that I mean A, how they were packaged, B, uh, the blandness colors, and all this stuff, and C, uh, the clip art and everything else. And then, the second criteria for today's comparison is the models. Uh, and I don't mean the liveries that are on them, like I said before, I mean the actual mold in terms of if there's anything broken, slanting, etc, etc. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's put the models to the side for a second, and let's look at the boxes. So now for the Gemini one, it's basically generic Gemini jets. Um, it's very bland, there's really nothing to it. Uh, really the only thing that Gemini changes occasionally are the flaps, uh, the flaps, all the information, but yeah, the, it's, the boxes of Gemini are really bland, and that just doesn't, um, make it really collectible, you know, it doesn't feel like you're collecting, you know, it doesn't make the model you have feel that it's collectible like that, like you're collecting something that's gonna become rare eventually, which it eventually will, but... Yeah, it's really bland as compared to the NG one, which is just, wow. Uh, NG, of course, they make every single one of their boxes different uh, in every single way. And that's what I like about them because it adds just, you know, the, the collectability to, you know, the model, you know? The model is what you're collecting, but you're also collecting the box. And you don't want to have a bland box like Gemini. You want to have a colorful a uh, different one every single time, like NG, and you know you're gonna get that because every single model has a different box and different clip art. But yeah, for this one, I have to say this one goes to NG models um, because G Gemini is never gonna win out this one unless they release, you know, a special box for like their 40 30th anniversary, which is gonna be like in what 2028. That's eight years from now. But sorry. Um, it, it, maybe they're gonna release a special 30th anniversary box, you don't know, but still, it, it's very bland. It just doesn't feel like you're collecting as compared to NG. So, yeah, like I said, NG wins this one. Now, let's move on to the molds. Okay, so now let's put the boxes aside and let's go to the actual models. Okay, so something that I can immediately notice right off the bat is that the windows are different. Um, one's tinted, uh, one's tinted, one isn't, as you guys can see, one tinted, one isn't, I don't know if this is just, like, Gemini, or if this is actually how the cockpit windows are, comment down below, uh, what 78710 cockpit windows look like, I mean, I, I've spotted one, but I've never seen this, so for that, the cockpit, I, I gotta say, it goes to, um, uh, uh, NG, but yeah, and then another thing is the engines. Taking my tripod off. Looking down at the engines, I don't know which is right. Uh, Gemini's seem a bit low to the ground. I'll move them up here um, so you guys can see better. Gemini's engines are a bit low to the ground as compared to uh, NG. And then another thing is the wings. Gemini's are lower than NG's. As well as um, a lot, as low as well as that, you have the landing gear, which um, I don't know which one to choose because Gemini's is shorter, uh, NG's is larger, so I have absolutely 
no idea which which one so please help me with this <laughs> help uh, but yeah and then another thing is the um the, basically just the way the models are uh looking at it i can tell you that ng did a better job and then here oh my gosh wait a second in the unboxing which you guys are have will probably have seen yesterday um as you guys can see uh in the unboxing i said the wings aren't level and that's true they're not level like next to each other because as you can see looking on this side and then on the other side this is literally i i'm not lying about this guys look at this this is uh on the 78710's right wing and then on the left wing it's like this so like i said the wings are not level and that really goes as gemini's fault this really is gemini's fault um and of course the ailerons to their level as compared with Gemini's. The Gemini's they're really really slanted. That's like a that's like 45 degrees, 90 degrees, uh, 180. Sorry. Um, and then as compared with NGs. So basically, I honestly have to say that for the most part, NG does win this category in terms of the mold because Gemini's. I feel like it's more haphazardly put together because. The wings aren't level, as you guys just saw. The wings aren't level, as compared to this one. The engines on this one are higher from the ground, whereas these are almost touching the ground. And there's so many more details that I haven't mentioned that makes uh, NG better than Gemini for this comparison video. Okay, so to end this comparison, I have to say that NG takes 100% of the vote, 100% landslide. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this now is because the boxes, you, you guys can clearly see that NG wins out because NG's boxes, every single time they have different designs on their boxes, which really adds to the collectability as compared to Gemini, which for the, for the last, what, 10, 15 years, they've had the same exact box design, which for me, for me, it's unacceptable because you're here to collect the model. I know you're collecting, you're collecting the model, but you should also be able to have a collectible box and Gemini just completely fails in that category and then with the mold. I also say that I'd also say that um, NG's 787-10 mold wins um, Mostly because of the wings the wings the wings are level the elevators are more level than Gemini's and I just feel like Gemini's is haphazardly put together. I honestly feel that This is just like almost a toy the way it's put together and i i just have to go with ng for this that being said that this concludes the video if you guys like the video please like subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos and comment down below whether you agree with my comparison once again thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one as always goodbye